Hey guys, David here, back with a bit of an early morning video. It's uh, just after, well actually it's almost 9 o'clock. We're sitting here at the kitchen table with the laptop because, well, I don't have a desk at the moment. I mean, sitting at the table works, but when you want to use your desktop that has a little bit more ju uh, power basically than this does, even though this machine does fare well for the, considering the age, but if we go over here, this is kind of how I have the... Uh, Tower set up right now. It's just sitting here Cables go to the power bar Internet cord over to the router. I got this desk off Kijiji yesterday, but the fun part is I Have no two fucking clues how to put it together now normally I know in the other videos I had a fold-up table sitting here, but we had to give that back to the person it came from so this is gonna be fun I may wait till my friend Kenny gets back around on the weekend and see if he can't help me figure something out because I tried using a few of these style wood screws and the problem is they went in but even with these in and all the way it seemed they, the side piece of the desk still wanted to do this and bend over and then well I ended up just ripping out a couple screws and you guys can kind of see where I tried to put those in. What I may end up doing is just seeing if I can't get a couple maybe metal legs to put in each corner of the desk and then maybe I can figure something out for like a little shelf for the tower to sit on underneath somewhere it's a bit of a hassle when you want to be able to use your much more powerful desktop which now also has a video card in it that I picked up off Kijiji locally for 30 bucks it's a GT430 one gigabyte from Zotac the only thing is let me just stick you guys down for a minute. The only thing is, when I had to, went to put the card in the system, it wouldn't fit where it would go because, well, in Dell machines, the cards fit upside down and with the fan tread on, it was bumping into the capacitors that are just along here. Oops, kind of caught my finger on the fan. There's a capacitor here and a capacitor here and that fan shroud would whack into them and the card wouldn't slot in all the way and the computer would show two of the diagnostics lights signifying that it wanted me to reseat the card so I ended up just pulling the fan shroud completely off it's still here let me just see if it's in the right if it's in the drawer I remember putting it in here it is here this is the little shroud and the problem is it was the caps were bumping into this side of it because Dell you know they had to make their computers backwards a normal PC the side, this side panel would be the one you would open. And then the other one is just the other side where all your wires and stuff, if you have a case with cable management, would be Dell's. Dell has a motherboard flip the other way around and kind of upside down in a way. Since the card, normally the fan would be facing towards the bottom of the case. But if we turn the PC around, as you can see, I would be able to easily use a secondary display. I can also hook up an HDMI to capable display or TV since this card has HDMI, DVI, and VGA. And the Dell is still running Windows 7 of course. Both machines are. I did experiment with Linux on the laptop for a bit but I was having problems with Mint and Cinnamon and Mint and KDE. The Xorg server that's in charge of the desktop environment was using up too much CPU due to the fact it was using CPU rendering instead of GPU rendering yet the GPU drivers were installed So I got kind of annoyed because it made it hard to watch a video when it's eating up all your CPU or do any other things So we just went back to Windows 7 of course like always because 7 is In my opinion the last good Microsoft OS of course as you can see here Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. Oh, yeah, and this machine is also known as HAL 9000 I'm surprised it doesn't cause issues on the network considering this machine is known as also known as HAL 9000 under Linux but in Windows I called it Skynet some of you guys may get the reference so we'll actually bring this up so you guys can as you can see it scores a little better in the whole WEI thing even though I don't really give much of a crap Core 2 Quad Q6600 at 2.4 gigs of RAM let's just bring up Specky here and something I had tried, there's what they call a tape mod for Core 2 quads. And what it's supposed to do is basically trip the CPU into thinking it has a 1333 MHz front side bus instead of the 1066. And it would effectively clock 
up from 2.4 to 3 gigahertz that didn't work instead of going up from 2.4 to 3 it dropped my CPU down to 1.6 so as you can see here here's the 1023 meg NVIDIA GeForce GT430 all the temps it actually runs pretty cool I'm quite surprised that the card is running is as cool as it is mind you there's not really a whole lot going on it's just running a desktop and showing a couple programs right now anyways that's all for this quick little update video and rambling on and all that we shall see you again soon